Okay guys, so now it's safe. Remove our rag. Make sure your rings are in the position that you had set them. Okay guys, so I'm just going to use some gear oil, you just need a bit. Then we're going to lubricate our cylinder. That should be good. You don't need to overdo it guys, so just a bit of lubrication in there. And then we're going to do the same thing for piston skirt. Okay guys, so now we can go ahead, compress our spring, our rings, and get our cylinder, get our base gasket on first guys. So, the base gasket is going to be this paper type one. And so now we just go ahead. Remember your cam chain, and you need to slip it also over your cam chain, guys. Just want to take time with that. Get your cam chain through there. Get your cam guide also through there. Piston. Get it over your dial pins. Make sure your oil port hole is visible. You don't want to cover that, guys. That will cause starvation to the engine, and then you'll be looking at a whole new top end, probably a whole engine rebuild. So now we got our base gasket on. We can go ahead and install our cylinder. So same procedure. Make sure you get your cam chain. Align properly and your cam guide. So we get that through. Then now we'll have to compress our piston ring, guys. So is that there you might want to tie off your cam chain a bit or we can probably just put the screwdriver there just to hold it in place while we compress our rings to get the cylinder in so. hold the piston and compress your rings guys so that means squeezing from both ends, compressing it. Ready guys, make sure your cam chain don't fall back in. slide down our cylinder guys so step one is complete all right guys 
So here's your cylinder installed. Okay, now we're going to install our cylinder head gasket. But first, we're going to put in our other cam chain guide, guys. So we're going to get in our cam chain guide. You will see the grooves already imprinted in your cylinder where you know it should sit down in there. And the longer side goes down and it sits like that. So now we're going to get our cylinder gasket and install that with the upper ridges facing upward. cam chain, cam guides, make sure everything is lined up properly guys and do remember this is where we got to install back our doil pins we got two doil pins to go in right here Make sure you have your cam shade guide going in the correct direction. Okay, guys, here we go. So there's our cylinder gasket. Now we need our doil pins. So one goes to the top right hand corner here. One goes to the bottom left. Okay guys, you don't want to forget that. And then now we can go ahead and reinstall our cylinder head. Make sure to clean that up. So, cylinder head. Now we need to get back our cam chain through there again, guys. And my advice, try to tie something on there so it's a bit easier to pull through. But you can definitely use your fingers and work your way. Or use something to hold it at least. So now we want to make sure our cam guide and everything is lined up properly. And we can get down our head. And here we go guys. So Next step, we want to install our two bolts here. Then we get those tightened down. Okay, let's go ahead and tighten those by hand for now and then we tighten them up with our ratchet. You don't want to over tighten these bolts guys, you just want it tight enough where it's snug. You don't want to strip your threads out, so 
just enough to where it's snug. You don't need to over tighten it. Okay, guys, so here we go. Make sure you have your two dollar pin sitting here as, as well. The top right hand corner and your bottom left corner. So, okay, guys, so now we're going to reinstall our camshaft. And to do that, you want to make sure we leave it as how we took it off at top dead center. This bolt at the top, this hole at the top, see two holes at the side with the lines matching with your case cover. So now we can just slide this back in. And then we just align the lines with the case cover. And that's your top dead center, guys. And then you just want to get your cam chain back onto your camshaft. Just a bit off, guys, about a tooth. So, we rotate it again. Okay guys, I think that should be fine. So now we can get on our rocker cover. I remember EX goes to the exhaust, FS goes to your intake guys. Okay guys, so here we go. So the next step is Reinstalling your four nuts and washers to cover your rocker and crank. Your rotor and your camshaft, guys. Your rockers and your camshaft okay so we just want to tighten these down and then last thing we'll do is to reinstall our cam chain tensioner You want to tighten these in a crisscross pattern, guys. Again, not over tightening it.
Okay guys, so to install our cam chain tensioner, we're going to remove these two bolts and then we're going to remove this spring loaded bolt. Be careful guys, there's a spring in there. So we remove that. So that way we can retract by pressing this, we can retract our tensioner. careful the spring guys all right then we can put that back in also remember to put your gasket on for your cam chain tensioner okay guys unfortunately I wasn't able to get a cam chain tensioner gasket with the kit I bought but luckily I was able to salvage this one so my advice guys make sure when you're buying your rebuild kit make sure you get one of these as well you don't want no glitches guys so God answers prayers amen hallelujah so we just want to get that in right there so back to where we left off guys now we can install our cam chain tensioner. And then we're going to install the holding, the mounting bolts. Take out that spring guys just to be careful so after we install the mounting bolts guys then we can go ahead and then reinstall our spring cap which will release the tensioner to release the tension back onto the chain Okay, guys. So now we get back our spring. We reinstall our spring. We get our cap. And then we just push that down. Make sure to hold a good grip on it, guys. You don't want that to go flying. Make sure your washer is still on there. And then we can tighten that down. And that would be a 10 millimeter socket. So. That is it, guys. So basically, we're done. All we need to do check our valve clearance. As you can hear, we have some clearance under there, so I, I know we're good. Then we reinstall everything, our exhaust, our valve cover. The carburetor. Then you should be good to go guys I'm gonna do a compression check on it before I try to fire it up and I'm gonna show you guys how I do that so you just need to tighten up these four screws tighten up these here guys get back your intake board on here connect your carburetor put back your flywheel cover connect your exhaust and that is it guys thanks to all who watched the video hope you all enjoyed Please remember to like, share, and subscribe if you're new to the channel. We greatly appreciate you, and I greatly appreciate all my subscribers, all who take the time to view the videos. Thank you, guys. Hope you all are enjoying all the content. Please, please. 
I look forward to bringing you all more great videos. Hopefully they will be helpful to you in some way. God bless you guys. You all have a great weekend. So I'm going to definitely show you guys before I start it up. So let me just get everything reconnected and I'll show you the start up guys. So see you in a few. Okay guys, so let's fire it up. Please remember guys to like, share and subscribe. Please feel free to comment below. Thanks to all our viewers, thanks to all our subscribers. God bless you all. I see you all on the next one. Thank you guys.